All right, hey everyone, I would like to, I'm just going to do, I just got done running this thing up, but I'm going to do just a really quick video for those who don't know how to just pull compressions on a, just any old aircraft engine, any old piston aircraft. So I'm gonna do that real quick, but now I, the first step is to pull all, just one, just one spark plug out of all the cylinders. It doesn't matter if it's top or bottom, or you could mix it up if you're weird, but um, I'm going to pull just one spark plug from each cylinder, and I'm going to do that now. For this, for this engine, it's easier, because the bafflings sometimes get in the way, it's easier just to pull it off the bottom. And here's our uh, fancy uh, spark plug tray. It's just got enabled. Uh, Number one top, it's just one T, number one bottom. So I got, yeah, just goes on to like six, but we're only gonna utilize four of these holes. We're just gonna put one bottom, two bottom, three bottom, four bottom. Just helps us keep track. Let's see. All right, so this is all our handy dandy ADS, ATS, um, certified and calibrated compression tester you need it you know it has to be calibrated and if you drop it it is good to so don't drop these things they are calibrated so first thing to do is i'm going to go over to the number one cylinder here maybe you guys are uh, number one screw this thing in it's the just a fancy you want to see what a normal one looks like uh, here they're just shorter and this is just a longer version of that all right so like I said it's always good to run the engine up and get it warm before you check compressions because the rings are you know warm and they're expanded so but I'm gonna get this on uh, the compression stroke at top dead center All right, spin it until we get there. All right, so you can hear it there. It's on the compression stroke. And now that it's on top dead center, on the compression stroke, I'm gonna grab our air here. Uh, let's see here. So plug our air in. And you're gonna have to adjust this just a little bit every now and then, but you want this needle around, you know, just 80 PSI. It's gonna be a little bit off before you hook it up, but when you plug it in, it's gonna vary, and you'll just turn this knob to adjust the pressure. Then we're gonna hook this up. We gotta make sure the valve is off. Make sure you know which way is off. So we're gonna hook this up. And now, if I just turn this on, it might spin the prop. Let's see if we can get that happen here. See, that's no good. That's super dangerous. So we're gonna turn this back to top dead. Because what that could end up doing is probably like starting the engine. But I knew the mags were good, tested those when I ran it up, made sure the engine turned off. So I knew it was safe there, but you never want to turn it on without having your hand on the, the prop. Or in this case, it's kind of in an awkward position. I have to grab the prop with my legs like this, here. So what I'm gonna do here is now that I have the prop secured, I'm gonna let air in. And actually really want to move here. Let's see, we gotta move it a little bit more here. It's on 80. All right, it's on a nice uh, 72. That's a nice passing score. Now, we're going to unhook it. 
And we're just gonna keep doing that over and over again. I'll just demonstrate it real quick to you for you guys. And so you have to you have to get each cylinder to its top dead center of the compression stroke. So I'm gonna spin this. There it is. And we're gonna wait for the mags. And there you go. That's uh, the top dead. All right, that was a quick video on just uh, uh, pulling the compressions on an engine. Just uh, recap here, engine warm. Uh, you need top dead center on the compression stroke, which you can feel by the air pressing on your finger or leaking out of the, the cylinder when you rotate the, the uh, engine. And then just put the prop about where the, as soon as you hear the, the click of the mags, and there you go. And then you uh, make sure the prop is secured, not going to move and then you apply the pressure, adjust the knob to the about 80 PSI, and then you pull that. And then whatever this right gauge reads is the compression of the cylinder. And uh, all right, sweet. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Um, short video, but hope you guys learned something uh, I'll see you guys later. Uh, subscribe for more aircraft maintenance videos. See you guys.